rumors, kids, nepotism claims. Comedy icon Adam Sandler and his wife Jackie don't shy away from the public eye, but there's a lot even the actors' craziest fans may not know about the power couple. Born Jacqueline Samantha Tytone in 1974, Jackie Sandler hails from Coral Springs, Florida. Shortly after making a name for herself as a young fashion model, Jackie landed her debut movie role in the 1990 film Deuce Bigelow, Mel Gigolo, starring Rob Schneider. Schneider, impressed by Jackie's portrayal of the character Sally in the movie, referred her to his friend, none other than Adam Sandler. Soon, Adam helped Jackie get cast as a briefly appearing waitress in 1999's Big Daddy. What are you doing in here, cutie? Watching football. Who do you want to win? The God Jets. All it took the couple to realize their love for each other was one glance on set, and the rest is history. As evident from a 2020 Instagram post by the comedian, the date of his first encounter with his now wife was a massively memorable moment. Sharing an old photo of the couple, Adam wrote in the caption, 22 years ago today, we locked eyes and fell deep. Look forward to the next 22, young lady. In April 2000, the Sun Sentinel reported that Jackie and Adam Sandler, who were allegedly getting ready to tie the knot at the time, called their engagement off over a prenup that Jackie refused to sign. While Jackie's mother refrained from commenting on the situation when the outlet reached out to her, her father stated, Jackie has a career of her own now, and even if they're not married, I'm hoping they can still have a professional relationship. However, Adam's then publicist denied the claim, telling the publication that they were still together and that, quote, these are just vicious rumors. That same year, Jackie converted to Judaism, honoring her love for the Jewish actor. During an episode of The Howard Stern Show, Stern questioned Adam about how religious he is, based on the fact that Jackie adopted his religious beliefs. I'm not crazy religious, but I'm proud of being a Jew, and, uh, and, uh, and that's what I am. While it's unclear whether Jackie converted before or after the rumored split, the conversion was a milestone big enough to prove how strong the couple's bond was and how valuable Adam's faith in his religion was to Jackie. Although Jackie and Adam Sandler were rumored to be planning a wedding almost immediately after they started dating and went official with the relationship, it actually wasn't until 2002 that the couple got engaged. It was through a June 2002 article published by ABC News that the world got to know that Adam popped the question, and Jackie said yes. Revealing how he went about the proposal, Adam told the publication, I played basketball that afternoon, trying to calm down, and then I was driving. I was saying the stuff out loud and trying to, you know, make sure I hit all of the right things so she would remember nice stuff. And I did all right. And it wasn't just Jackie that he got a yes from. Adam recalled, she called her grandmother right after, and her mother. And they all said, yeah, I heard the applause over the phone and stuff. It sounds like the Titans were overwhelmed with joy, and clearly, so were the Sandlers. In June 2003, exactly a year after Adam Sandler proposed to Jackie, the pair had a lavish Jewish wedding in Malibu, California. Reports claim that around 400 people close to the couple and their families were invited. The guest list was indeed star-studded, with several celebrities attending the event. Rob Schneider, Jennifer Aniston, Rodney Dangerfield, Dustin Hoffman, and Sharon Osbourne are said to have been present at the venue. Adam's bulldog, Meatball, even wore a tux to the ceremony. Revealing the secret to his decades-long marriage, Adam told AARP in 2022, "...we try to make each other laugh, try to listen, try to include each other, try to support each other. We try our best, that's all. And we don't ever think of not being together." Jackie echoed the same sentiments, telling E.T. in 2023, "...he's always trying to make me laugh, and I'm always trying to make him laugh, so it works out." The duo is clearly on the same page, and it's likely one of the reasons they have effortlessly managed to stick together throughout the years. Jackie and Adam Sandler welcomed their first daughter, Sadie Madison, in May 2006. At the time, Adam announced the news on his website, writing, "'Kid is healthy, wife is healthy.'" Back in early 2008, when Jackie conceived again, it was little Sadie who helped Jackie tell Adam about the pregnancy, and she did it in the sweetest possible way. As Adam revealed in a June 2008 episode of Live with Regis and Kelly, the day he got the news, Sadie stayed up late at night waiting for Adam to come home so that she could hand him a little something, like a gift. Needless to say, Adam was bowled over when he found out it was a pregnancy test kit that confirmed Jackie was expecting. Jackie gave birth to the couple's second daughter, Sunny Madeline, in November 2008. Following Sunny's birth, Adam's now-defunct website read, "...everyone is happy and healthy." Over the years, Sadie and Sunny have played and voiced a number of characters in quite a few Adam Sandler starring films, including Hotel Transylvania, Murder Mystery, and the Grown Ups movies. Your bat mitzvah is the first day of your adult life, and everyone knows an iconic adult life hinges on how it starts. 
The Sandlers were recently seen in Netflix's 2023 film, You Are So Not Invited to My Bat Mitzvah, which featured Sonny as one of the lead characters. The plot revolves around two best friends, Sonny playing Stacey Friedman and Samantha Lorraine as Lydia Rodriguez Katz and the ups and downs of their friendship. Lydia Rodriguez Katz, you are so not invited to my Bat Mitzvah. While Adam and Adina Menzel were cast as Stacy's parents, Jackie played Lydia's mother in the film. Sadie, on the other hand, played Stacy's older sister, which, we assume, made the bond of the on-screen sisters more naturalistic and true to life. Following the movie's release, the Sandlers faced a huge backlash online, with netizens calling Adam out for practicing nepotism. Shortly after social media platforms flooded with such posts, the film's director, Sammy Cohen, expressed his thoughts to The Hollywood Reporter. In Cohen's words, Sandler has a reputation for making movies with his friends, and that's something we all want to do. What I say is, he's still making movies with his friends, but they're his kids. He is the kind of dad who's also your best friend. After Bat Mitzvah, the whole Sandler family lent their voices to the animated Netflix movie Leo. Accusations of nepotism be damned. No animal wants to be locked up. I wasted my life!